Welcome everyone. Today's topic is resilient supply of shadow inventory. Okay, so let's talk about what shadow inventory is and why that is so important for you to understand and most important for you to be able to leverage and get home run deals um, in your portfolio. Okay, so let's get started. Shadow inventory. What do we mean by shadow inventory? Okay, so what we mean is in the foreclosure process, that means that somebody bought a property for whatever reason, you know, they got a loan, but they weren't able to pay the mortgage. Okay, so after 90 days, the bank will pretty much take the owner to the foreclosure process. So it has to go through the court system because Illinois is a judicial state. So that process is going to take about um, up to two years, okay? So stage number one, the owner gets the notice of um, default, right? So that happens after 90 days or so. Let me get the other marker. And then the second step is when the bank, um, you know, they're gonna wait for about six to nine months for the owner to get current. So then at that point, if the owner is still unable to come current with the loan, guess what? The judge is going to issue the auction date, okay? Auction date. So what it means is that it is official that the home is going to go to the judicial sale auction, okay? And that's, the place where the owner doesn't want to be, that's where the bank doesn't want to be. Why? Because guess what? The owner is going to lose the home. And guess what? The bank may take the property back. And the bank is not in the business of real estate. The bank is in the business of real estate. So if nobody buys the property at the judicial auction at the courthouse, guess what? The bank gets to keep the property. Uh, so at that point, so then the auction comes, right? That's where at the courthouse. And finally, the property becomes REO or banked on property. So if nobody buys a property at the judicial auction, then this property is going to become banked on. Okay. We call this shadow inventory, or we also call these banked on property. Now, what do, why do we call this shadow inventory? Because when the property goes to the judicial auction, okay, and then becomes REO, nobody knows about that except you from Chicago Deal I'm gonna show you the minute the properties um, become REO, you're gonna know about that. But most important, uh, the power of what I'm just about to show you is that you are going to be able to buy these properties directly from large banks. Yes, you heard me right. Um, most people, most investors won't be able to buy these properties from large banks. And I'm going to tell you why. Because think about this. Imagine that Bank of America is not going to only take over one property. They're going to take hundreds of properties okay in the portfolio at that point the bank is not interested is not in the business of real estate they want to dispose of the properties okay as soon as possible but if you reach out to bank of america do you think they're going to sell you one or two three properties of course not of course not okay they want to sell them bulk so what the banks are going to do is they're going to send all their properties to the auctioning platforms like auction.com, hubzoo.com. So you're gonna have, the main one is auction.com and hubzoo, okay? You have Williams and Williams, Marshall and Hudson, Xom, and many others, right? But these are the main, auction.com and hubzoo.com. So at that point, the bank will hope to get their money uh, and then, you know, get rid of the property. So where, can you profit the most at this point, okay? By buying the properties directly from the banks, okay? But 
that doesn't make any sense. I just told you that banks are not going to sell you the, the properties, but there's a way. We have a system. We have a partnership um, that will allow you to buy properties directly from big banks before they go to the auctioning platforms. Because once they hit the auctioning platforms, guess what? People engage in bidding wars. Okay, so they're going to start bidding, bidding against each other, and eventually they are going to overpay for the property. And obviously, the bank is going to benefit. We have the ability to know all the properties that are going to the auction.com, hubs.com, and the major auctioning online sites before the auction happens. So, what's the big benefit of that? The huge benefit. Well, it has many benefits, but I'm going to tell you the three most important benefits. Number one, we are going to know the reserve price. What it means is how much the bank is going to sell the property for. So if the bank, let's assume the owner owed 100000 on the property, but this property is worth 200000 Again, the bank just wants to get their money back. So they want to auction this off for perhaps 110000 that's going to be their reserve price, 110,000. Okay, that's the reserve price. But guess what? Nobody knows that. Nobody knows this price when you go to auction.com, hubs.com. Why? Because it's in the best interest of the bank for no one to know what the reserve price is until people beat, it, beat each other up and meet the reserve price. Then the bank is going to let you know. Oh, by the way, the reserve has been met. But can you imagine if you were to know what the reserve price is ahead of time? That's a huge advantage because you're going to know ahead of time is if the property makes sense or not. Because guess what? If the property can be worth 200000 and you can buy it for 110000 it's a great deal, right? Because you're paying like 50 cents on the dollar, especially if it doesn't need much rehab from the inside, right? But what if I know the property's reserve price from the bank is maybe 150,000 for this property? There's no way I'm gonna buy it for 150,000, okay? It's just overpriced. There's not enough meeting the bond for you to make any money. So we're just gonna skip that property altogether. So that's benefit number one, knowing what the bank is going to sell the property for even before your competition starts bidding into the auction sites. The second benefit, that's benefit number one. Benefit number two is that most of these auctioning sites are going to require cash, okay? You're gonna see that they say financing available, cash, okay? So people need to come up with cash to close on the property. Guess what? Through this program that we have, you can finance a transaction using a private money lender or a hard money lender. Regardless of what the website says, whether it says only cash, it's okay. You're going to be able to bring your private money lender or hard money lender. Okay. And third benefit and most important is that you have zero competition. Whoa. What do we mean by that? What we mean by that is that. If you know this property is going to sell for 110, right? That's the bank's reserve price, and you like it. You're going to do your due diligence, right? You're going to drive by the property, make sure that uh, it's in a good location. You check the occupancy, whether it's vacant, occupied. You try to get an assessment for the scope of work, right? And if everything looks okay, then you can pull the property from the back door. OK, so pretty much you're going to be able to buy it for the reserve price. That's simple, regardless of what people be at the auctioning sites. You might wonder, well, how can that happen? Because that's going to hurt the bank, right? If you can buy it for 110, but other people are willing to pay 120, 130, 150. How, how is that going to benefit the bank? Well, guess what? It's called connections, right? So the connection that we have with our partner, Jacob, he's able to pull the property from the back door at the reserve price, regardless of what people are already bidding on the auctioning sites. It is mind-blowing. 
So we've been focusing on this inventory for the last seven, eight months, and it's been incredible. Incredible, I mean, it's been amazing, mind blowing, because let me give you an example, like one property, right? When I, when I saw it in our list, right, that came from Chicago Deal Vault, at the, at the time, the reserve price was 160,000, okay? So I quickly went into auction.com, and you know what? The auction was already happening. People were bidding already close to 200,000 for that property, and there was still one day remaining. Imagine that property was going to go for way over 200,000. That property, that property's ARV was 280,000. So we ended up pulling the property from the back door for 160,000. Imagine, and people were already beating 198,000. That was insane. I mean, they were going to not make enough money. They were not going to have enough meat in the bone to make any money, right? Um, so that is the power of these. So let me just share my screen and, and give you another uh, example of another property that we were able to pull again from the back door. So this is in Elmwood Park, and we bought the property for 150,000. Okay, but remember the rule of thumb that I showed you last week: the million-dollar secret for you to think, act like a pro when it comes to analyzing deals. If the property or the reserve price is 150,000, okay, how much should the property appraise for? The property's ARV should be at least 100,000 more than what you're gonna pay for the property. So if we saw the property for 150,000, my next thing to think like a pro and act like a, like a pro was that property better appraised for 250,000 and the rehab should be less than 50,000. If that's the case, we have a home run deal. So sure enough, we got the property for 150,000. We drove by the property. In fact, I peeked through the windows. It was vacant and it did not need a good rehab. It was a medium rehab, okay? So the rehab ended up being uh, 46,000 for this property. And I knew that it would appraise for around 265,000, 270,000 or so, okay? Um, so just to make the story short, the property we bought for, let me put it right here. So we bought it for 150, okay? And it appraised for, guess how much the property appraised for? So we bought it for 150, we put in 50 for the rehab, 47, but let's call it 50. So all in, let's say 200,000. So I'll share my screen and show you, but can I, can I get some guesses from you as to what the ARV came out to be for the property? Can I get some guesses on the chat? Okay, 280, whoa. <laughs> 280, 175, 260, uh, Valerie, 360. Whoa, that was very optimistic. So I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna share my screen really quick. Um, so I'll show you pretty much two documents. Um, so this is the contract, okay? I'm gonna wait for it to show on the screen before I move um, forward. Okay, so this is the purchase contract. I'm highlighting the, the price, 150,000 for the property, okay? And uh, we got it from auction.com, okay? So we, and then the bank is, uh, I believe is Wells Fargo. Yeah, Wells Fargo, okay? Wells Fargo, it's a huge bank, right? So you won't be able to buy properties directly from Wells Fargo. Um, and the property, let me show you, right here it appraised for 280 so it was most of you were very very close uh mark dresser 175 no mark we bought it for 150 remember we need to add at least a hundred thousand dollars spread so it needed to appraise for at least two, 250 260 uh so in the it ended up appraising about three weeks ago for 280 280,000. so imagine you buy a property for 150, okay? 
So let's just go over the numbers because I want to make sure you, you fully understand the numbers. Okay. So you buy the property for 150 and for you to think like a pro, it needs to have a hundred thousand dollar spread. So it better appraise for at least 250,000. Okay. And the rehab should be less than 50,000. So in this case, 150 purchase price, rehab, let's call it 50, and then it appraised for 280. So you have a spread of 130,000. So guess what? When you have such a big spread, when it comes down to refinance the property on the back end, do you think you're gonna be able to cash out? Because not only do you have enough equity to refinance, but when you have that big of a spread, guess what? You're going to be able to cash out should you desire to do so, okay? Super important. Um, so let me just show you um, right here. In fact, uh, we are doing, uh, and then let me share the screen, a refinance on this property tomorrow. Okay, so let me share this screen with you. Okay, let me make it bigger. Okay, so this is the closing statement uh, for tomorrow. So this is 11:24 right here, closing date tomorrow. So this property, you know, we're gonna pay off the outstanding loan, right? And then look at the bottom of the closing statement. It says balance due to buyer right here, thirty-four thousand. So not only are we going to have very little money stuck on the property, but we will also have a cash out of 34000 tomorrow afternoon. Okay, does that make sense? So not only is your tenant paying for the mortgage, they're paying for all the expenses, but your cash flowing, this property is cash flowing about 300 350 per month because we rented it for uh 1870 so it was the rent was very very high in elmwood park it's a b plus a minus neighborhood so with it's cash flowing 350 per month and on top of that tomorrow we're, we're getting 34k okay so that's what what i want to make sure that you are able to take advantage of Okay, this inventory that we are getting access to on a weekly basis. So we're getting at least about 300 properties on a weekly basis. Okay, and what's really cool, let me show you. I'm going to share my screen. There are deals everywhere. Okay, so whether you're looking in the south suburbs, in the north, in the west, let me show you what I like to do. So this is the inventory on Chicago Dealwood. Okay. I like to, when we get it on a weekly basis, I like to put it on a map. So look at this. Every single one of these red markers is an REO. Okay. On a weekly basis. And every week there's a new list of inventory. So can you imagine, I mean, can you find one great deal every single week? Okay. We've been able to find uh, so far, at least two great deals every three weeks at least two home run deals like the one i just showed you okay so imagine so they have them from the west to the south even in indiana so i want to make sure that you have access to these not only that but we're doing something very sophisticated the minute we get this inventory and we're going to make this available to you the minute we get this inventory we have our team um, do an analysis for the spread that I just told you, 100,000 or so. So what we're going to do is we're going to flag right here the top deals. So like, for instance, let me give you an idea. Uh, November 19th, we flag another day, another deal. So that was about uh, three, four days ago. Okay, a property in Crystal Lake, uh, the target was 112,000 but the ARV on this property will be over 100,000. So spread 210,000 or more, okay? Uh, so we're gonna be able to not only 
give you access to the banked on inventory. But on top of that, we are going to analyze the inventory for you and flag the properties that make sense, that have a greater spread that you can buy. Um, so once you have access to this inventory, our partner will require two documents from you, your entity doc and your line of credit or proof of funds, okay? Because you have to follow through on the purchase of these properties. Once you purchase a property, you can either buy and hold, fix and flip, wholesale, anything you can do, okay? And in fact, let me give you another example. So here, this property in Berkman, um, we also were buying this property, um, actually uh, first week of December, again, from shadow inventory. Why? Because of the spread, okay? Uh, this property, we ended up getting it for 94,000, okay? 94,000 is gonna price for about 180,000, and it doesn't need that much work, 15,000 or so. It's a small two bedroom, one bath, so we're pulling these first week of December. Um, so we're just taking advantage of banked on inventory, and I wanna make sure that you are doing the same thing, okay? I wanna make it so easy for you to not only have access for you to browse based on the location, but we will also flag the top deals that have at least 80 and up uh, profit spread from what the reserve price is, meaning what the bank is gonna sell it for and what the property is gonna price for. So something that is very important, like this property in Crystal Lake, right? So I called our partner and I said, hey, Jim, can you please go check this property like ASAP. I mean, can you go like tonight? Because the auction was happening the next day. So he went to the property and he told me, Hugo, um, the property is not in great shape from the outside. Not only that, but it seems like that owner, it was occupied and the owner, I don't think he's going anywhere anytime soon. So when the property is occupied, we are going to skip it, right? We don't want to have um, to have issues with tenants or try to do an eviction right now. You cannot do evictions. There's a moratorium on evictions. So we want to buy a property and take over the property when we close, right? If we're not able to do that, we're going to skip that. However, this property in Burbank, it's occupied. But guess what? We do have an agreement with the owner to do um, cash for keys, okay? So technically, they are moving out December 1st, okay, in exchange for $3,000. And the closing is is scheduled for December 11th, okay? So we're gonna have, make sure that we have um, the tenant out and we secure the property, make sure that we have an inspection and so forth, but it's it's a done deal that we're pulling this property from the auction.com website through our partnership. Um, so I wanna make sure that you are able to leverage from these and I wanna summarize everything that I just shared with you tonight. So you've got to focus on off-market properties. Off-market properties are properties that are technically not for sale, including banked on properties. So these are the properties that went to the judicial auction through the foreclosure process and nobody bought them, right? So guess what? The bank took over the property, but the bank is not in the business of real estate. So they want to, they're in the business of lending. They want to dispose of these properties. That's where you come in the picture because the banks they just want to recoup their investment. If the owner had an outstanding balance of about $100,000 on the property, they're going to get rid of the property for about $100,000, when indeed this property could be worth $200,000. So this is where you come into the picture to pay 50 cents on the dollar. That's where you're going to make like the home run deals that you all need to be taking. And it's about time that we as ordinary investors start taking these home run deals. Uh, luckily enough, our partner has been incredibly amazing with us, providing this inventory to us and to you uh, for you to start capturing these home run deals. So I'm gonna explain the big benefits, three big benefits when you have access to this inventory. Number one is that you are gonna know what the reserve is, okay? Number one, so you're gonna know what the reserve, we call these target reserve, it has many names, but how much will the bank sell the property for? Which is huge, right? 
uh, it's top secret, it's confidential, you're gonna know that. Number two, you're gonna be able to finance the property. Even if in auction.com, hubs.com, it says cash only, it doesn't matter. You're gonna be able to bring your uh, private money lender, hard money lender. In fact, we have pulled like six, seven properties this way. We've never paid cash a single time, okay? We always either use a hard money lender or a private money lender, okay? So you're gonna be able to finance the property. And number three, you have zero competition, okay? It doesn't matter what people are bidding at the auction inside, you are going to pay the reserve price. Imagine that, I mean, it cannot get any better when you do not engage in a bidding war with other investors who may not know what they're doing. And oftentimes, guess what? They bid up the price, okay? Obviously, that benefits the bank, but that they're hurting themselves. It's like a short term. You don't want to engage in a bidding war with somebody who does not understand the numbers because they will most likely overpay for the property and they are pretty much uh, shooting them, themselves in the foot. Um, so we're gonna prevent all that from happening by having these three benefits. No, knowing the price, being able to finance the property and having zero competition. So I wanna make sure that you start um, capturing these home run deals, okay? So it's called shadow inventory. You are gonna have access to about 300 a week, okay? And not only that, but we're gonna help you analyze those properties. We're gonna flag the ones that have over $80,000 spread. Uh, but again, obviously, it's up to you. You, Depending on the location, you may need less, you may need more. We don't take uh, properties that we cannot take possession when we close. Some people are okay taking properties occupied. We, to, for us, it's too risky. So there are some factors that you do have to do your due diligence before you commit. Uh, we're gonna need, again, two documents from you, your entity docs uh, from, from your... Uh, corporation, company, S-Corp, LLC, and your line of credit or proof of funds um, to show that you can follow through in the transaction, okay? Um, so, friends, now it's time for questions. Um, please feel free to unmute yourself or uh, put them via the chat, okay? Let's go over that. Okay, so Marge is asking, did you sell it for 280? No, no, we didn't sell it for 280. Uh, it just appraised for 280,000. We're gonna, it's already rented, okay? Do you get uh, tax for the 34K? So absolutely, right? Every, every time that you get, uh, when you do a cash out, technically that's uh, income. So yeah, uh, when it comes to taxes, but guess what, through real estate, you have the biggest advantage when you buy properties under your entity and it's called depreciation. So even if we get 34K tomorrow, guess what? Through depreciation write-offs, we're gonna get to pay taxes, but very, very minimum tax, okay? Um, next, is there a good way to verify the REO property? Is it occupied without trying to get into it? Uh, you technically have to go see the property, okay? There's no way around that. Talk to the owner. I mean, talk to the neighbors. That's the best source I found. I go to the property, even in the system, it says occupied. I wanna verify occupancy. Oftentimes it's vacant. So if it's vacant, that's just the way to go, okay? Occupied, uh, we need to strike an agreement with, the, with, with whoever is in, in the property, either the tenant or the owner or whoever. And we do cash for keys, about $3,000. We need to have access to the property and they need to move out when we close on the property, okay? So otherwise, you're asking for you know trouble if you buy something that is occupied and not have access to it. Uh, show us the number on the rental. So this property is renting for 1870, okay? Uh, and the principal interest tax and insurance is going to be about 540, so it's a cash flow about 350 and the tenant is paying for everything utilities so gas electric water exterior maintenance everything it's a single family home three bedroom two bath uh, basement um, and uh, main target deals spread yes absolutely the spread 
that we're going to flag properties for is going to be at least 80,000 and more, okay? But we like to see at least 100,000 if possible, right? Uh, how do you get the Berkman property for 94 if the bank's target was 102? Great question. That's called our partner, Connection. So he was able to negotiate further with the bank uh, at 94,000. So there's enough room for equity for and especially that the property doesn't need much work okay and it's a small two bedroom one bath no basement so it's a sim simple boring property okay do you pay cash for keys at closing or sooner no we pay a uh, great question joan we pay sooner so in fact the tenant is moving out on the first so we're gonna check the property if everything is you know broom clean we're gonna pay them three thousand so that's December 1st, closing is scheduled for December 11th or 14th. So we wanna make sure that we secure the property, have access to the property uh, vacant before closing, okay? I don't wanna take the risk of taking over the property and still have somebody in the property. So we like to have the tenant move out before closing, um, if possible, okay? So yeah, we're gonna need to pay $3,000, but since this is a done deal, it's okay, it's not like we're gonna lose the money. We already uh, signed a performance agreement, the sales contract with the bank. Um, we just need to make sure that the tenant is out uh, on December 1st. Great question, Joan. Um, are there any other questions on the line? So I wanna make sure that all of you are able to take these home run deals um, like the pros are doing. I'm a Blue Angel member, how do I get access? So great question, Xavier. If you are a Blue Angel member, you should have access to this inventory. Um, so I'm gonna share my screen again to show you where this is. So you're gonna have on your Chicago deal book a tab that says shadow inventory and click on target right here, okay? So it's in the upper right hand corner, again, shadow inventory target. Um, so thank you for bringing that up. So for you to have access to inventory, you need to be a Blue Angel member, okay? So if you are not a still a Blue Angel member, you can upgrade. So in fact, it's cheaper to have a yearly membership. Uh, the monthly subscription is 140. When you become a yearly subscriber, it's gonna be 120. So you're gonna be saving 25% on your monthly uh, subscription when you join the yearly Blue Angel membership. So we wanna make sure that you start taking uh, home run deals ASAP because right now, despite the fact there's a shorter short, shortage of inventory, we are buying properties, okay? We're closing on one, in fact, on Wednesday, we're refinancing these. Tomorrow, closing on one on Wednesday, we have the, the other bank on property scheduled for first week or second week of December. We're still finding great home run deals. So despite of the pandemic, we are moving forward if the numbers make sense. So that is why we're looking for properties with $100,000 spreads. And we're not finding those in the MLS, okay? We're finding them through the banks. Banks who are not in the business of real estate, they just wanna dispose of the property and they'll let you pay 50 cents on the dollar. We want those properties. Does that make sense? Because you're going to be able to do anything you want, either a flip, a rental, wholesale, anything you want, you're going to make money. And in fact, the minute you um, get the property on the contract, that's when you're going to be making money on the property. And especially that it doesn't um, need much work, right? That, that's the key. So if you're ready to upgrade to the Blue Angel, just send us a message via the chat that you would like to upgrade and we'll upgrade you. You're going to save 25% on your uh, monthly fee. So from 140, you are going to go down to 120, okay? Um, and we have a 30-day money-back guarantee. So you can upgrade today, test it out, check it out, okay? And um, if you think this is not for you, that's okay. That's okay. We're going to give you your money back. We want to make sure that you drive the power of these. So we call these Blue Angel because I wanna make sure that you drop your bicycle and you start flying a Blue Angel, right? You're gonna zoom, zoom through, <laughs> through like faster than the speed of the sound, right? So friends, uh, just send us a message if you would like to upgrade and uh, we can get you started today so that you have access to this inventory and again, 
we uh, as part of a bonus that we're gonna give you is we're gonna dedicate our resources to analyze the inventory to flag the ones that have a bigger spread okay like this spreadsheet we're going to share with you so that you can um, quickly identify the ones that make a lot of sense another question is do you provide private money um let me see another question is do you provide private money lender connections thank you absolutely brian so in fact, in Chicago Deal World, we have over 7,000 private money lenders. Let me quickly show you that. Uh, right here, private money lenders on Chicago Deal World. To be precise, we have right here, 4,261 private money lenders, okay? And on top of that, we have our internal private money lenders. So the next two purchases that we are doing, guess what? we are using a private money lender so we're putting zero money out of pocket on the purchase and on the rehab okay so when you become a blue angel member we are going to connect you with our resources internal resources uh, because once you have a great deal guess what funding becomes the easy part right because everyone wants to be part of a great transaction because they're going to make money you're going to make money everyone is going to make money so long you have the spread that I mentioned earlier. Like in this property, we bought it for 150, it appraised for 280, and you need to put 50 on the property. Um, so yeah, great, great, uh, great point. Um, yeah, absolutely, Valerie. Let's drop the bicycle, right? Start flying a Blue Angel. I would like to upgrade. Okay, Phil, can you please make a note? Uh, Curtis is going to upgrade. Brian, uh, what are the typical um, private money? fees so the terms are typically 12 percent interest rate uh, two points and it's a short-term loan so it's about four all the way to nine months okay so those are the terms for the private money lenders um, and hard money lenders are about the same obviously through our connections we are going to give you better terms okay so typically we're in the nine percent instead of paying 12 percent we pay nine percent instead of paying two points we pay one and a half um, the term it's still short term we want to be in and out as quickly as possible we don't want to take four six months on the project we want to rehab the project in about less than two months if possible and then uh, put it on the market right away especially we're focusing on rentals okay so for rent um so yeah Great, uh, Valerie, 12%, two points. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, that's it, thank you, Valerie. Uh, are there any other questions? I wanna make sure that you take advantage of these, so please uh, send us a, a message that you wanna upgrade, um, and then we're gonna give you access to the inventory right away. And again, please remember, we're gonna need two things from you, your entity docs, meaning your articles of incorporation, and your line of credit. And if you don't have a line of credit, don't worry, because we're gonna help you with it. So let me show you what we've done on the preferred partners in Chicago Deal Vault. Let me share that. We have added over 20 hard money lenders. So right here, you reach out to them, uh, hard money lenders. Let me look, hard money lenders, boom. We have over 25 hard money lenders that they can give you a pre-approval or line of credit, okay? You reach out to them and uh, they're going to check your liquidity. They're going to ask you about your experience, uh, what you're trying to do in real estate. Um, based on that, they will issue a pre-approval letter. So we're going to need that from you, but we're going to help you get that taken care of because that is very important. And if you don't have an entity or a company, we are going to help you uh, set that up. Uh, so either we refer you to our preferred accountant who can set that up, in two days or our favorite website it's called legalzoom.com and they can set it up for you in about a week okay and it's going to cost you about four to six hundred to set up the, the entity so you can have all the documents required in about a week's time okay so there's no excuse friends right now is the best time to get into real estate because people are getting distracted with holidays right with pandemic well, guess what? They're missing awesome deals, but we're not gonna let you miss any single deal because even if you don't log into the system, right? 
we are going to give you access to this spreadsheet that I showed you earlier, where our team is flagging the great deals for you to never ever miss a single home run deal. Does that make sense? It is super important. Uh, and in fact, you know, my wife told me, hey, so are we closing on two properties? I said, yeah, we are. And she was, whoa, you know, because she's taking care of our baby. She was very impressed. But it's not because I'm all day looking for deals. We're leveraging from our resources, right? And I want to make sure that you leverage from our resources to help you never miss a single deal again, okay? Even if you are tied up, because guess what? I'm tied up all day with, with our daughters, so four kids, okay? So you can imagine that they keep me pretty busy. Um, so if I was to rely on myself to not miss a deal, I would miss every single possible deal. But that's not how you build a rental empire. You, re you build the rental empire by leveraging from other resources okay who are going to do the job for you and that's what i'm offering you today i want to make sure that you leverage from our resources our technology our inventory our connections for you to know how much the bank is going to sell it for being able to fund the transaction through a private money lender or a hard money lender so again we're giving you access to over four thousand private money lenders over 25 hard money lenders and you will have zero competition because regardless of what people engage in a bidding war in the auction insights, you will be able to pull the property, boom, from the back door, okay? That is just amazing. I mean, we're doing deal after deal after deal, and I'm just like you. I'm nothing special. I don't have any supernatural powers, right? I don't have more than 24 hours a day like you do, uh, right? but we have access to the right information at the right time okay and that's what i want to make sure that you do as well and not only that but that you leverage from our resources so even if you don't have time to look at this boom you never miss a single deal again okay so i want to make sure that if you don't have access you do upgrade to the blue angel membership uh again you're going to be saving 20 percent from the monthly so imagine <laughs> Uh, not only are you going to be saving money, but you're going you're gonna to get tremendous benefits. Just when you do only one deal, that's going to pay off for <laughs> 10 years of uh, subscription at least. Okay. Are there any other questions uh, on the line? Okay. So if no further questions, uh, we're going to remain on the line for the next few minutes to help you answer any questions that you may have. Um, and help you sign up, uh, get upgraded. And again, there's a 30 day money back guarantee. So we're gonna give you access to the inventory. We're gonna give you access to the private money lenders, hard money lenders, help you set up your entity, everything you need to get started today uh, for 30 days. You can drive it, fly the Blue Angel. If you believe it's not for you, that's okay. We'll give you your money back. We wanna make sure that you are successful today, not tomorrow, and that you leverage from everything we've built for you because guess what time is a resource that never come back ne never comes back right so you've got to make sure that um, you don't reinvent the, the wheel you leverage from other people's time other people's money and that's what we're going to help you do so that you don't waste your time in trial and error right because that time you'll never get it back right so we've been there we've done that leverage from it 